Hi, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. I never know how to start these things. I think this is take 20, maybe? Honestly, feel like I'm talking to a friend, talking to this screen. I hope you feel the same way about me and that we have a friendship here. Didn't watch last week's video, go watch it because Hunter and I share some very exciting news that we are building a home, a lake home in Auburndale, Florida from the ground up. Only by the grace of God and his goodness is this possible. So many things are changing, we're having a lot of transition, but that's how I know that it is the Lord over each of these situations because it's happening like that. Also, how cute are these blue light glasses? Like, oh my goodness. I can wear them all day, even when I'm not in front of a computer screen or texting. That's how much I love them. I have a 15% off code for you if you're interested in these movement glasses, blue light. They're so freaking cute. They also have watches and bracelets and jewelry, a line for women, a line for men. Um, you need these, these are amazing. I have more exciting news to share today. I have accepted a position in ministry with Relevant Church down here in Ybor City in Tampa, and I'm so excited about it. This is something I've been praying seeking the Lord for. I have been out of church and ministry for a little over four months now. Obviously COVID hit, a lot of transitions happened and I stepped down from my old ministry position. I'm at my old church and a lot was going on. So my husband and I went into counseling. I was dealing with a lot of things personally and I knew that I needed to talk to a professional Christian counselor. And so I took the steps to go do that. And in my first counseling appointment, she was like, we need to get your husband in here because you guys are one and what you're facing and what you're dealing with from leaving that former ministry position. You need your husband to be a part of that. And so really for the last four months, it's been a journey of figuring out what my passion is, what the Lord has called me to do. I was not looking in this season to add working back in ministry onto my plate. As things started to open back up, churches started to open back up, my husband and I knew that we had to get back in church. I grew up as a pastor's kid and so Community is something that the Lord wants all believers to be in. And one of the ways that we get to do that is on Sunday mornings at church and throughout the week in groups and things like that. And so my entire life, I have been a part of a church community. And so not having that is extremely hard for me. And it's something that I was craving so deeply. I was just researching and looking online for churches to attend. My husband and I came across Relevant Church. And so we started tuning into their online services. They're a non-denominational church. What really stuck out to me from the get-go about them is how authentic and genuine they are. Really, I could tell from that first service of listening into worship and Pastor Paul preaching that this is somewhere where we can grow, where we can be ourselves, we can be in community. It's a family. It's just everything that we had prayed for and asked the Lord to take us into in this next church that we go to. Just checked off all the boxes. Let's be really authentic and honest with you guys. I was so burnt out, so exhausted for my last ministry position and I knew I needed to take a break. And so that's what I did. Obviously I tuned in virtually from home to other services like Elevation Church, Transformation Church. And I knew that once churches started to open back up that I needed to get back in. For the last, you know, four and a half months, I have been home pretty much 24 seven because I have a business that has given me the freedom to be able to work from home. The thing is, I don't have any kids. I don't have any other obligations other than feeding my husband, feeding my dogs, and being alive. I have made life decisions to give myself the freedom to stay home if I want to. And so here I am in March of this year, out of ministry, not working anymore, and solely doing Rodan and Fields, able to really flourish in my business and grow my business back to the point that it was, which I had lost a little bit giving so much of myself and so much of my time to the ministry I was a part of. And so I was able to kind of build my business back up, which was a huge priority to me because my business is a ministry. Having the opportunity every day to pour into women on social media, to uplift them, to encourage them, to share the love of Jesus with them through skincare products, the Lord can take you and he can use anything to glorify him. And that's exactly what he does in my business. I get to do ministry every day, but it's very different doing it virtually and then in person, I, I need both. I know that the Lord's called me to both, and so I have such a desire for social media and reaching people that way, but I also have a desire for in person. So I knew that as I have been home now for a little over four and a half months, I'm going a little crazy because my business does not require full-time hours. 
And that's the beauty of having a business with Rodin and Fields and really how I've built it to the point I have. I can make a full-time income working part-time hours. Rodin and Fields is not a full-time commitment for me. I don't have to work it 40 hours a week. I have the flexibility to work my business wherever I am, have conversations, talk to people, help them with their skin, from my car, on vacation, from my home, really wherever I am. So when you have as much free time as I do, you know, you get bored really easily. There's only so much that you can do during COVID to fill your time. I found myself really bored and becoming really lazy and unproductive sleeping in super late, going to bed super late, just feeling off. I have found that I flourish the most as a woman, as a wife, as a friend, when I am working my Rodina Fields business part-time and I'm working in ministry part-time, fulfilling both passions that I have. And I can't really flourish when I'm doing ministry full-time and Rodina Fields part-time or Rodina Fields full-time and ministry part-time. There has to be that balance of the two. And I've been able to experiment the last three years seeing both roles go up and go down. And I found that working them both part-time is where I flourish the most. I knew as churches began to reopen that I was ready to get back into ministry after a little over four months of not being at church at all and really working on myself and growing in my prayer life and in my relationship with others. It has just been a much needed time of reflection and it has been the best time to myself. Um, I'm getting emotional talking about it because it has been literally four and a half months of working on myself and praying and praying and praying and asking him to open doors of opportunity and so he did. But after a few weeks of watching online services at Relevant, I just felt the Lord say, reach out to them, send them an email because I was feeling so ready to step back into a ministry position. I had no idea if they were hiring. It was posted nowhere. I just pulled an email off of their website. I just felt the Lord say, send them an email. And I knew that probably the assistant was going to get the email and delete it. It probably would never get to the head pastor. That's not what happened at all. got the email and they were really impressed with my resume and my experience and they wanted to meet. And so I did two Zoom meetings meetings and I was blown away after talking with the head pastor and the associate pastor about how they do things and their leadership and their style and just virtually meeting them and talking to them. I was like, oh my gosh, this is my home. I just knew instantly peace in my spirit that this is where I'm supposed to be and where Hunter is supposed to be. And so literally they offered me a position after hearing my heart and asking me what I am passionate about and how I can be an asset to their team. I accepted a position overseeing their social media and their communications, which is something I am very passionate about, and their first impressions team. The three things that I came to them with saying I had experience in and I was passionate about. It's been a couple of days working in the offices and it's really hard to put into words how much it is meant to me to have this happen so fast. There were so many things that were different this time around, accepting this ministry position that I never had at the old position I was at that were just total confirmations for me. There was like a whole list of things that I had written down when I was praying and asking the Lord, you know, God, what are requirements that I need to have, boundaries I need to have before I accept this position so I can do it right this time? So I can make sure that I'm really aware of boundaries and obedient to you. I wrote those things down and as I was asking the pastors questions and they were open and answering and listening to them, every box got checked off and I just felt so at peace that this is where I'm supposed to be. On that list of things I had needed to be checked off, one of them was that the leaders and pastors would show an interest in my husband and that it wouldn't just be about me and about being on their team and being an asset to their team, but that they would care for my husband just as much because we are one. And that's important when you have someone in your marriage, in ministry, working in ministry, surrounded by ministry, it's really easy for the other person to feel left out. And so I didn't want Hunter to have to feel left out again. I wanted him to be just as included in the ministry as I was. That's how it should be. And that is something that was major in making this decision. Then another thing that really, really stuck out to me is that they invited me to come meet the staff before I accepted the position and joined the team. That was extremely important to them that I felt comfortable around the other staff members and they felt comfortable with me being a part of the team, getting to meet them and ask them questions and really dig deep and ask how their experience has been on staff here for the last few years. And so getting to see the longevity of the staff members, why they've stuck around and how they are a true family is incredible. 
Missions and outreach is something that's extremely important to me, but it's the heart of Jesus. You know, you can't really have a functioning church or ministry without having strong outreach and missions and giving back and serving the community. And that was something I was craving so deeply. My first day on the job on Monday, we got to package a hundred lunches for the teachers of a local elementary school down the street, Booker T. Washington, where like over 90% of their students are on free or reduced lunch. And so getting to love on the teachers, bring them food and be a part of that on my very first day was and everything that I could have asked for, everything that resembles the heart of Jesus is serving and giving back. So if you live in the Tampa area, you're invited to come to Relevant Church with me this Sunday. I'd love for you to be my guest and come sit with me in Hunter and get to experience a service yourself. Reach out to me. I would love to share more with you about this incredible, incredible church that I am now part of. If you have any questions about Relevant Church, about my experience of deeper details of this transition that I haven't shared, reach out to me. I'm always an open book and super authentic and just real when I talk about these real life things that a lot of us go through that you know we may not always be open to share. I'm always open to share my experiences. Y'all, God is good. He is so faithful. This testimony is because of him, because of his goodness. I have done nothing to deserve this. None of us can do anything to earn his love. He freely gives it to us and he has heard every cry, every prayer, every sacrifice, the last four and a half months that I have so consistently brought to him of asking for change in my life, of asking for opportunity, of this right here in this season, what I've been praying and seeking him for, he delivered for me. And I know that he's gonna do the same for you. So whatever this season looks like for you, keep praying. Keep being faithful, keep pursuing, because this is the best season of your life. It is, it doesn't matter what this season may bring you, I want you to ask yourself if this is as good as it gets. Can you still worship God? Can you still love Him? Can you still praise Him and tell others about His goodness? If this is as good as your life gets, can you still do that? I know for me, the answer will always be yes. Even in the darkest moments, He will continue to show that He's faithful and he's good and he loves you. If you want to stay up to date with all the fun, exciting things happening in mine and Hunter's life, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be such a blessing to me if you could do that. If you want to see more of my ministry life, of my Rodan Fields life, of my husband, of my dogs, what do you want to see? So go give Relevant Tampa a follow and go check them out because I'm the girl behind the account now. It's going to be really fun stepping into this new role and I hope that you'll come join us for a Sunday service. I hope my testimony, my journey inspires you in some way and that you've received something from this message. It's always for the one. As long as one of you gets something from this, it's worth it, just like Jesus says in his word. And so I hope this has impacted you and that you have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching.